It's game five between the Oilers and LA Kings, Dennis, as the series shifts back to Edmonton now at Rogers Place. Our coverage here on the fourth period presented to you by BitBuy. Use referral code TFP and receive up to 50 bucks in free crypto while terms and conditions apply. Let's jump right into it, Dennis. Keys to the game for the LA Kings tonight are? Well, our two keys for me, uh, number one was the physicality for the Kings. They answered the physicality of the Edmonton Oilers in games two and three, which I expected after the game one loss um, in Edmonton by the Oilers. So that was number one. Putting Carl Grunstrom up with Andre Kopitar and Adrian Kempe certainly was a factor. He scored two goals. That was a nice benefit. But I just think his physical presence was number one. Number two, although I've talked about playing the kids here in Los Angeles for two years, you can't play all the kids. So Jordan Spence coming out. Your buddy Troy Stetcher, Troy from Richmond, going back in the lineup, uh, gave more stability on the blue line. He played really solid. Got a goal when his shot tipped off uh, Duncan Keats' stick. So him and Alex Edler, who they've been very familiar going back to their Vancouver days. I think that stability on defense uh, led the way in the 4 nothing victory in Game 4. Yeah, some of Stetcher's best playing days were when Edler was his defensive partner here in Vancouver. So you can look and see that now that they're in the playoffs, obviously playing together. But if you're the Edmonton Oilers, you score 14 goals in Games 2 and 3, 0 in Game 4. Is that an indictment more on the Oilers or just the way the Kings played them? No, I think it's an indictment on the Oilers. I think they took the Kings for granted. I think they took them lightly. After you know, after winning by that substantial margin, you think it's going to be relatively easy. They did get power play opportunities. They went over three in the power play. So to me, I think we'll see a different motivated Edmonton Oilers team tonight in game five. I think the first 10 minutes is really key. I know that's cliche, but you, you need to have a response off that bad game. And that was a bad game. And the challenge with Edmonton, they have to play better defensively. And maybe that's why you see Ron McLeod going up to the second line and you see Paul Yarvey coming back down to the third line. They're just not a good defensive team, Earth. They get, they're going to give a lot of opportunities to the Kings. You see the shot total again, over 40. I expect that to be the same. But I, I just got to think special teams, Edmonton has to win. And they just have to have a better, somewhat of a better effort defensively if they think they're going to escape with a victory here in Game 5. We mentioned giving up opportunities and special teams. The Kings are one one for 15 on the power play. So if that gets going and the Oilers keep taking penalties, things could drastically change the other way in this series as well. Oh yeah, if the Kings win the special teams battle, they'll win the game. I mean, that that's what Edmonton strength is. That's why they won their, their previous two games. And that's what sets the tone for the Oilers. When they get momentum in the game, it's usually off their power play. And sometimes even the shorthanded goal that Dar- Darnell Lewis scored in game two was a huge... Uh, turn uh, with respect to uh, what happens in the series. So to me, yeah, if Edmonton's going to lose the special teams battle, given that not a great five-on-five team, that's going to be a significant factor in game five tonight. DB, thank you so much for this. It's now a best-of-three series with game five beginning tonight in Edmonton.